What up, you guys? It's your boy, The King. Shoot, I forgot my intro. Anyhow, <laughs> raw footage today. We're gonna do a raw footage today. So this is the entrance, as you guys can see. The front view of my home, hopefully. If it goes well, it's gonna be well, which it will be. And that's how it looks so far. You know, that's the way it looks so far. Part of the exterior. So, for this part, I don't know why. But for me, it actually makes me feel like... It's kind of creepy in a certain way. In a way where I could tell you that it looks good from the outside. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be good from the inside. Because you know what they say... It may be ugly from the outside, but it's beautiful on in the inside. So I kind of use the term, you know, beautiful on the outside, beautiful on in the inside, wrong. But you get my point. I don't think I have to be that much of a detailed person at this moment. Just trying to give you guys a day tour of my first year homemade maze. Just to pretty much experience what, I don't know if you guys have seen, but just to experience what... If people like it, you know, their reactions to if should I continue doing this more often? Should I continue making more mazes every year? Should I push myself to see how people react to it? Thinking about it. But if it goes well this year, more likely you guys are going to be seeing this every single year. I'm going to be creating something better, something bigger, something stronger, something louder, something scarier. So, enough talking and let's get straight into it. But first, you know, safety always comes first. Remember, you guys, safety is all oh, crap. Look at this guy right here. Creepy little one, you know. But as safety is always first, make sure you lock your doors and check it's locked. You know, you don't want to, you know, oh my God, enter your own risk. Wait, so what is that supposed to mean? Like. What is that supposed to mean? And see, enter your own risk. It's possibly I could die? I don't know. I sure I don't want to die though, but... We are the kings though. I'll tell you that, we are the kings, so we gotta, you know, grow some balls. We gotta get out there and we just gotta do it. So you know what? Let's do it. Let's go. So... What the hell do we do here? It's closed up. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, never mind. Screw it. We just go through it. Okay, creepy ghost. What's your job here? Damn. What's your job here, girl? Come here, baby. Oh, oh god. Baby girl, what the hell is wrong with your face? What did they do to you? My god, no. Ooh, pumpkin. <laughs> Come here, pumpkin. Aren't you a little pumpkin? Do not enter? Wait, why? Why am I not allowed to enter there? That's not fair. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. I did not even notice that we had hands down there. Ha. Huh. That's so sad. Oh, werewolf, my boy. Yo. Well then, isn't this interesting? Oh shoot, it lights up. Alright, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. And we got some people up there. I don't know why, but I love this guy up here. It's so cool. So then, all of this. This is inflatable, like it floats up. So this is going to hold this buddy up here. And then we got pretty much creepy little joker there, you know. The grave digger entrance. We got skull, my boy. All of this is gonna be looking like a cemetery. So we're gonna have this all tuned, like pretty much the, the gravestones up here. And then this dude is gonna be serving today, you know, chicken fingers. Chicken fingers. They're gonna be giving us carnita. And they're going to be giving us a little bit of a uh, third eye view. Isn't that right, buddy? Ho, 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 ho. 
<laughs> How many teeth you got there, bud? Three marshmallows. Great. <laughs> this guy is here. I don't know why, but every time I walk through this every night and I try like get inside, I kind of get creeped out. So, excuse me. So for this part, more likely you just have to go under it. And yes, there's a little mess, but you know, you know what to say. The messier it is, the more you think, the more ideas you have. No, I, I really, I don't know. So I'm just making that, you know, up just so you guys can laugh at it. Uh, so right now, the reason it looks like that, the reason it looks like that down there is for the fact that there's a lot more stuff to be inquired, to be input, to be part of this maze for this year which Halloween is pretty much around the corner, so like in a week. That being said, this is pretty much the stuff that I've been doing for the past few months already. Not a few months, but like past month or so. Just to make it more interesting, I kind of like gave myself a little bit of time to think, you know, to get ideas and, you know, do like a little miniature process going on. But, yeah. We're gonna be using these props in here, and we're gonna, some of the props that you see on the floor are gonna be pretty much placed on this wall over here. This wall over here is gonna be the, the creepy wall where you're gonna see dolls, you're gonna see stuff being hanged. We got Spider My Boy. We got Mommy Spider up there. We got little Georgie. <laughs> Too tall for Georgie, but something like that. You got spiders hanging everywhere. And right now I'm gonna give you guys a day tour of what it looks like in the inside. But tonight I will do another video so you guys can see at nighttime what it looks like. And this Saturday I will do another video where you guys could take a look and a peek of what it looks like when people are in here. So you guys are gonna get in a view and a feeling and you guys are gonna be part of this adventure on how it looks in the nighttime and when people are coming in here, you guys are gonna pretty much see an experience of how it looks and I hope you guys enjoy this. So, let's talk in and let me show you what's up. Obviously, it's not gonna scare you in the daytime, but more in the nighttime. But this is the mask room. I keep forgetting I leave tape on the floor, so I keep stepping on them and I get pissed off. So I'm like, crap, there's tape. So then you're gonna walk through here. There's gonna be a strobe light in the next room, so then you're gonna see this guy here standing. All the way down, then you're gonna see this guy standing here. Strobe lights up there, so that's pretty much the main thing that's gonna be here. And then here, the other side is gonna be covered up with a black plastic so that you can't see on the other side. But when you go in, you're gonna break in the middle. You're gonna spread apart. We're gonna have a jumping spider here. Crap, I keep forgetting. And then we have hanging bats in the whole room. We got one here, got one here, got one here, got one there. I know it's hard to see because it's pretty dark in here. And one over here in my hand. Then you're going to come this way. And you're going to enter into my favorite room of all time. There's, gonna, there's writing on the walls as you can see there a little bit. So all of this is going to be seen with a black light. So all this stands out more. Oh, we got here. <sighs> what do we call you? Hold on. Let's take a moment and just think of what should we call him, you know? Because to to get an idea of what this guy should... Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, this... This thing was not here last time. So, wait, 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 wait. Is it possible that this is his face? Yep, 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 def definitely his face. And then... We got this little guy over here, and then the one and only 
Dun, dun, dun. We got Twisty the Clown, my boy, from American Horror Story. Then, here's a myth, the legend, the killer clown. Some of you guys may recognize this, some of you guys may not. It's okay. Then we got pretty much Screaming Eye Socket out here. And we got Green Goob. Which is... Oh, let me see you guys. Which is the creepy one. So and then once you guys are done... Okay, I was kind of... I was a little bit foolish in there. Don't you guys think? Don't you think? I was kind of foolish in there. Alright, let's go. So then when you guys come here, you open here, and the first thing you're going to see is a body. Here, push through that body. Yeah, I made you guys go in first. Then you guys are going to knock the hand off. <laughs> you're going to... Yeah, hold up. I'm going to stop fooling around. So you're going to walk through this. You're going to walk, walk, walk. Another leg, another body, another leg, another hand, another this. Then that's the exit, and then from here to over there is gonna be closed. All this is gonna be pitch black with smoke machine and laser. That's pretty much it, you guys. So that concludes the end of my day tour video, and I'll see you guys later on tonight. For sure, I'm gonna do another video tonight. For sure, tonight. So y'all better come in here, smash the like button. No, that's not what you're gonna do. No, let's make it more fun, all right? Cause it is Halloween time. It is a Halloween time, all right? What I want you to do is chop off your leg and smash that like button. Because if you guys don't chop off legs, if you guys don't even get the spider and smash it. Then you guys are gonna get killed for Halloween. Booyah, there you go. So, you guys better come here and smash the like button, share this video, comment down below. And if you are new to my video and you are barely seeing anything, and this is your first video that pops up in your YouTube channel or your YouTube when you barely open it, make sure you click on my user, make sure you guys are a member, subscribe to it. Press on the bell for notification and you should be notified whenever I start posting videos up in here. So that being said, this is the end of my video, end of this day tour of my first year maze. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to walk out, exit, pretty much enjoy it. See you guys later. Bye.